Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and today we're going to be talking about ClinChax and the whole CBCT integration and the AI and the accuracy of predicting fenestration. And I know that for a layperson, this is not going to make any sense, so this video is really dedicated more towards the doctors out there. So first of all, as with any video about another company, especially this one, I have to say everything in this video is my own opinion. I am not... I'm an orthodontist who's been using Invisalign for almost 20 years. I've seen or done tens of thousands of cases. Um, everything I'm saying is just my own opinion. Um, I have no beef with Invisalign, um, so any criticism that I give is my own opinion. Invisalign Align Technology, if you do not like what I've posted, you're welcome to send me a very pleasant email and ask me to change it and give me the verbiage, take it down. I have been asked by doctors to make this video. so. If you guys aren't going to provide this solution, somebody has to provide it, and I guess that is me. So the question is, I mean, I love the CBCT integration. I think it's a game changer. Um, I, I wish we had a CBCT in our offices. We just, it's a little too expensive and not enough space. Um, so we have to refer out. So because we have to refer out for CBCTs when needed, we aren't able to um, use the CBCT feature, which is like I said, literally a game changer with your Invisalign cases. I highly recommend you start using it. It's a little bit clunky. So I have a few videos made with the instructions. You can go into my channel, Straight Smile Solutions. You can use the search tool, which is on the top bar. Looks like a magnifying glass. Put in CBCT, comma, Invisalign, and the video should come up. Um, otherwise, ask your territory manager. They can help you out, or you can call um, Align Technology, and they can walk you through it. Once you figure it out, it works out great. Um, but the question is about those little, so, okay. so the idea about the CBCT and the ClinChak is that, and I can't show you one because like I said, we don't have it in our office, but I work with doctors who use it. So like don't have the release in order to show it. And also Invisalign Align Technology tends to get very upset at me when I show ClinChaks because they think that's their property, even if it's my patient. So I guess it's their technology. So unless I have permission, they like to make me take it down. So that's why I'm not showing it especially since it's going to be a little bit of a criticism. Um, but you, what basically I think is so cool, and I, and I think I really do believe, I haven't seen any of these cases finished yet, but I do really believe it's quite accurate for the most part. Um, I mean, obviously, if you've worked with me on a ClinCheck you know, support session before, you know that let's say you don't have a CBCT and I say, hey, take a SAF. Oh, I don't know. I don't think this is a good idea to procline this or to expand this. I think you're going to push it through the bone. You know, I'm just looking at anatomy. I'm just looking at gingiva. I'm just looking at photos. I'm just looking at the patient's age. I'm just looking at the patient's paracharting. This is just based on experience and the SAF that I feel like I'm pretty accurate if you don't have it. But it's hard for a new Invisalign doctor, not an orthodontist, but someone who hasn't done a ton of braces cases to have the knowledge that I have. It's just impossible. It just comes with experience. So this CBCT feature allows you to basically get the, the access to the knowledge that I have, you know? So you, it, it will literally turn the gingival margins red if you're pushing it too far forward or too far out, which is like, duh, thank goodness, because a lot of these quote unquote engines and, um, you know, just simple programs. All I did was blast these teeth forward, blast these teeth out. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is nuts. So um, I'm thankful that they have it because now I don't have to argue with doctors <laughs> when they want to just push things forward and out. So I'm like, hey, look, you can't. It turns red. You're going to devitalize those teeth. You're going to damage those roots. You're going to have fenestration. You're going to push it through the bone. So that's cool. The one part that we're seeing with... Um, this though that I'm not sure is right is when they turn it red on the palette. So let's say we've retracted a little bit. Let's say we've either done IPR or we've done um, sequential distillation. And then you start to see the red scalloping on the palette, you know, behind say seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, or upper three to three. I don't think that's a thing. So it shows up on their ClinCheck with AI, CBCT as red. I've done a lot of cases. I mean, whether it's an extraction case or um, I know you guys are anti those, but you know, in the past, never have I ever seen fenestration on the palate. Now, I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying it would be very rare, but these 
ClinChex are showing it like all the time. I see them every single day and, and, and doctors get upset, obviously, for obvious reasons. It says red, you know? Ah, there's bone there, I'm not worried. Usually the, the bone follows it, you know? Even on the lingual, I think I've seen it maybe once or twice in a braces case. Have I ever seen an Invisalign case? No, never. Um, I've seen it buckly in the Invisalign case many times. I've seen it labelly in the Invisalign case many times, but I've never seen it lingual. I'm not saying that's that's a possibility. And I've never seen it palatal. Um, so for those for that reason, I take that with a grain of salt and you know, you just have to kind of go by experience. And here's the thing, you guys, the clin check is not the end all be all. As you're going on with the trays, you're gonna be you gotta wear your, your dentist hat. You gotta be checking period, you gotta be checking for these things. It's not just gonna poof, you know, like somebody having a heart attack or a stroke out of midair. I mean, it's gonna come very, very, very slowly. You're gonna see it coming, the progression of it. And you can always stop it. You know, add some IPR, change things, whatever. Change, change the directions of things. So I wouldn't overthink it. But um, yeah, for the most part, I think you should be using, if you have a CBCT you, and you do Invisalign, 100%. And remember, this is AI. I'm sure they built it on quite a few cases, but in time, they're going to modify it. So hopefully they'll lighten up a little bit on the whole um, palatal red marks. All right, thank you.